This gun's actually got very little recoil. Um, I think there's a mercury damper inside here and a nice uh, limb saver recoil pad. So it's, the recoil's actually quite minimal. Left target way up top right. Bullseye. Yep. We're good to go. Yeah, good thing. So Steve, um, our gun of choice is the 375 Holland and Holland. Um, countless buffalo have been taken in Africa with this caliber and it's a caliber that we have uh, trust in and a lot of buffalo have been hunted with on Woodland Safari State, I think the vast majority. Cool. So uh, you shot very well at the range, um, you put a shot in the bullseye and uh, nothing more we need for the confidence. So right. yeah, cool. I'm sure we'll have a great hunt together again. Yeah, with us two years ago and uh, you took a number of great animals with us now you've decided to pursue a buffalo we've been seeing a number of good bulls around and uh, we've come onto high ground here at a spot we call the beacon where you get a sort of a topographical view as you can see of the sort of south southeastern part of the um, property and uh, yeah it's pretty cool this morning so i think that we'll find the buffalo in the lower drawers uh, where it's more sheltered so um, we'll work our way down these ridges and go and look down towards the lower lying areas and uh, see if we can spot a nice bull to close the gap on so did they lay down did they lay down when it's this cold yes when it gets this cold they kind of stay hunkered in the thicker parts of the drawers and uh, they don't really come out into the open on top you know because it's it's quite uh, cold so they're still feeding but they're just feeding in the brush um, yeah. in the bottom so yeah. pretty sure that uh, we'll find some a bit lower down as we have been seeing them in those general areas So Steve, you see the scuff marks on these trees here? Yeah? Um, that's caused by buffalo that frequent this area. So this is the kind of area we're looking at hunting and uh, we'll keep pushing on and see what we find. Okay. okay, Steve, um, it's a misty morning here in Woodlands and uh, We've eventually found these buffalo. They were out in the plains this morning early, obviously through the night feeding with the full moon. Yeah. They've left the thicket and they're busy walking through the a draw, going up over the plains, heading towards the um, the lower yeah. uh, in the forest in the valley. So we're going to try and use the mist to our, uh, our advantage and um, go up to the left here, try and get ahead of them. The wind is pretty good and uh, see if they can't sort of come biased in the mist right. okay yep. it might have even burnt off by the time we we get there but we'll just have to hunker down low and maybe even just sit and wait for them okay, okay. let's yeah. go and have a look you like 
Lord. On the right, but uh, yeah, he keeps feeding. They they on their way towards us, so let's just let's just set it out and wait till he presents a shot, and then we'll step clear. We've got very little cover to work with here, um, but they seem to be on their way. Here. It's one furthest on the right. Don't shoot until I tell you. Okay, they're still facing. When you're ready, take him, take your time, don't shoot him too hard. Take your time. Watch him. Okay, take him again. There you go. Good shooting, my man. Don't shoot him again. Don't shoot him again. Put it here, my man. Congratulations. <laughs> Beautiful buffalo ball. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just give him time to go down. Yep. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Let's just give him time to go down. I had a little a bit of the uh, adrenaline this time. The first shot was very good. I saw him raise his leg. Okay, let's just give him time oh, yeah. and the other bulls just to move off a little bit. Yeah. Um, those were lethal shots, and uh, luckily he was off to the right the whole time, yep. so we could distinguish between him and the others. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's an absolute classical shaped bull. That um, the heart fruit. Yeah, beautiful. So we'll just uh, as soon as those move off, we'll slowly take a walk close and see if he's still moving. Mm -hmm. Okay, follow me. Yep. <laughs> Well done, Steve. <laughs> Beautiful big buffalo bull. You've been wanting one of these guys for quite a while, eh? Yep, two years. <laughs> Very nice. This morning we found these buffalo pretty early in the misty weather, and uh, they're over on the plains here, right down in the bottom drawers. Obviously, they came over during the night because of the full moon to feed on the plains. Yep. And uh, they were actually headed back to the thickets. Um, they had a couple hundred yards to go to get over the thicket, so we came around the top of them and uh, we had a couple of acacia trees to our advantage and we sort of beelined down there and got set up. They came feeding towards us and um, every now and then one of the younger bulls would kind of look up at us and kind of not figure out what we are. Yep. And uh, this guy eventually turned broadside and stepped right out to the right and uh, yeah, you made a good shot on him straight on the shoulder where I told you. and. Uh, he didn't go very far and uh, yeah, you put him down again and uh, we heard the textbook uh, bellow yep. and uh, yeah, went exactly like we planned and you got yourself a beautiful big buffalo bull. Yeah. Wow, all of these scars are from fighting? From fighting, yes, and you can see there above his, his eye as yeah. well, he's got that scarring there, obviously. Just a few days ago. Yeah, he's obviously the dominant bull of this group and uh, Wow. He's really scuffed up. You can see there's some, even some fresh scarring on him here from the other bulls. What a beautiful animal. What beautiful. a gorgeous animal. Amazing. Very nice big bulky bull. You see his big heavy neck. Yep. All the muscle there is just sheer power behind those horns there. And uh, yeah, they call the black death because they can be very dangerous yep. in certain situations. So we always try and uh, you know, have a controlled situation where we try our best not to be in those situations. Yep. So, yep. you did very good and uh, you can be proud of yourself. Well done. Yay! Mr. Bull. <laughs>
So, uh, Steve and Tim, uh, today is a very special day for the two of you joining the Dugaboy Club. And uh, obviously, at John X Safaris, we, uh, we appreciate you guys coming over after the difficult sing for us. And uh, <laughs> just now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, just a little token of our appreciation and uh, a big congrats to the two of you guys for um, each taking a beautiful yeah, buffer today. Yeah. And I don't remember actually even being in camp that two hunters have uh, consecutively taken buffer on the same day. Nice! Oh, that was very cool. It's a milestone. Well done, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank well you done. very much. Appreciate so, it. Yeah, on the note from what, what Martin's saying, which is two, it's the first time we've had two buffer taken off the property on the same day. Nice. This is normally a. You know, you give the guy his glory, he shot a buffalo, but today you both get it. Well done to both of you guys, you both got beautiful bulls. Tim, there you go buddy, you can put that in your... Oh, thank you. Wow. Thank you. That's all you got. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> So Steve, we um, obviously up on our uh, mountain concession in the Eastern Cape. Um, we have seen a couple of really nice pigs around on the tops here. So we're just going to spend the day up here and uh, see if we can find what we're looking for. A nice big tusker for you. about 200 yards in front of us. We last saw those pigs just other side there. So can you please uh, take the rifle off your shoulder and point the barrel down just so that they don't catch the glare of the barrel, okay? Very slowly and quietly now, okay? So today we're out in the mountains uh, at the foot of the Winterberg. We are looking for warthogs and uh, we found a big pig this morning but uh, we couldn't close the deal on him. Some Farley's busted us. So now we're just having a nice lunch here, barbecue at the um, sort of the bush lodge up here. And uh, yeah, we're going to make some traditional burrovos rolls, um, which is a sausage roll obviously. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll suffice and uh, hopefully this afternoon we can find a big pig. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Mm. Wow. Edible? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that is good.
sort of a very central spot under this tree. You've got a nice backrest, a nice backdrop. This uh, big bee's been coming out in this corner every single time. <laughs> We're just uh, sitting in out, and hopefully the bee doesn't try and circle around the bottom of this clearing to get our wind. But um, by the last three or four times, um, he's come out in that corner there, so we really hope that he'll choose that again today. And uh, hopefully his, his routine is, uh, is his demise. So let's see if he comes out. It's not him, it's another one. Just watch. Don't move. He might pop out there with that one. Hope this pig doesn't walk straight into us and then spook and run back in and chase everything out. Patience paid off there. It'd be great when a plan comes together like that. It worked out textbook. It like came on a string exactly where we wanted it to come. Well done. Well done. Well done. Let's give it five minutes. Have you got another one in? Yes, I do. Okay, Steve, I can see the tracks and some blood going through here. Yeah, it's gone through this section here. Yeah. There's your pig. Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, look at that. Goodness. Look at those tusks. Wow. Goodness gracious. This guy's given us the runaround for the second day now, but uh, we figured him out and uh, came and set up in the corner of this uh, of this uh, plantation here. And yeah, he came out. Look at these beautiful big cutters on him. And uh, just about to go into the rut, you see his eyes starting to get dark. Look at these big warts that yes, he's carrying indeed. on him. And that's all an indication of a super old boar. Really? Very, very nice, yeah. Okay. And uh, these guys grow to be, well, they've said they've recorded them up to 20 years old, but I'm guessing this guy's around 10 or 11 years old. And uh, yeah, they are a very hard trophy to get, especially at this age. They're very wary, as you saw. Wily, yep. And um, yeah, and you'll make a beautiful skull bleach on your on your desk absolutely and you'll go nasty with the other pig so yeah well done again and well done for persevering and yeah we got him in the end congratulations what an animal what an animal and he did exactly what you said he was going to do yeah. you know your animals Martin, you definitely know how they work, how they think. Yeah, their downfall is that they're creatures of habit, so they stick to a routine. So once you work that routine out, it's like clockwork often. So we did exactly what we needed to do and he came straight to us. Yes, indeed. Awesome. Yep. Well done, Steve.